now I want to have this model or this head to match the same or actually I want the, these vertices to match the same position of these vertices you can obviously use this object to be your base object and the displace from it so everything will match the reason I'm using the same one that I started with is if you are already rigged that object and or you already started the process of rigging a character and you don't want to replace and rebuild everything you just follow this workflow you can you can easily do it from uh, creating uh, so let's pick the master and then the follower and then we do create blend shape so now we can go to window animation editor blend shape and you see we already have a, a node there and it will match you can even now delete this one we don't need it anymore time to save and get ready for adding the displacement I will uh, delete history on the op in the uh, on the mesh sign a new material and the, the SG node I'm gonna go grab the displacement file the 32 bit you might get that warning at the bottom here saying that Maya could not read the file just because it's a 32-bit uh, Maya engine will might complain but Mentoray will read it perfectly so you can ignore that for now I'm gonna place a directional light middle mouse drag in here so we can look through it just to place it in position Switch to Mentor Ray as your rendering engine and render as is. Now we're faced with these weird artifacts that's happening in here. Uh, the reason is this object or this head, let's pick it here, it has 1600 faces compared to 1.6 million from Mudbox. So what we need to do now is to either subdivide this mesh in Maya or tell Mentoray in render time subdivided this to the specific number that we're going to need. For that we're going to use something called the approximation editor. It's under window. Let's keep this image here for feature comparison. Rendering editor, Mentoray approximation editor. And we need to subdivide it and it's a poly. Hit create and you will get the subdivision, sorry, the uh, MI subdivision approximation node attached to the object. So if you pick the object, it's going to be under the extra attribute in here. Now we have different options for the uh, subdivision uh, method or the approximation method. Uh, I would encourage you to test and try different ones until you find the one that satisfies you. In general, I would like to start with the spatial. Also, as a good tip, if you have view dependent on and you have animation in your scene, as if you rendered animation you might get a flicker in the uh, displacement because the view dependent is a camera dependent so that, that means if the camera position move you might get different result for the displacement especially that it will happen when you animate and, and you can see them frame by frame and you can get see a little bit of a flicker so make sure that it's turned off if you are animating so just by default I'm leaving the 0 to 5 and one one other thing I want to make sure that it's turned on is to go to my rendering editor render settings pretty much looking for the uh, information that comes out of uh, Mentoray when it's rendered so I'm in the uh, Mentoray tab I'm just gonna quality preset go to preview and translation I wanna change this to progress message I'll explain it in a second once we finish this render so let's render this so render is done. If we compare it from the previous one, and we see a huge difference. Now we're coming closer to what we had in Modbox. Render time is one minute, just because my machine is kind of slow. One thing I want to point out now is the output window. After turning on the uh, progress messages, you can look in the output window after Mentoray finished the render, and it will see how many triangles got desolated in this process. 
So we're counting 1.2 million with this set 0 to 5. We need to get that number closer as much as possible, close as possible to the mud box count, which is 1.6 million. So for that, we're going to need to adjust our approximation node. So I'm going to go adjust my approximation. And now the minimum approximation is set to 0. If I increase that, make it 2, and render, and we'll see now the output window, what's the outcome for it. So the render is done. And I won't see really a huge difference, even in the output window, it's the same. So if I go to the object and I hit Control A to go to the attribute editor under displacement, and we have this feature displacement is turned on by default. This is the Maya software displacement uh, generation. So if we turn this off and render again. Remember the output window was set at 1.2 or 1.29 and you will get a totally different result now as if the displacement has gone less and if you look at the output window and you will see this number now has dropped so what's happening is that Maya software is tessellating at a certain point and then Mentor Ray takes over to finish the job if we want now to have Mentor Ray to just take the whole thing and tessellate it from start to finish we need to adjust back MI subdivision approximation and increase these numbers but these values are actually very low and that's why we got this render we're going to increase this number to 5 and 9 uh, you can adjust and keep adding uh, these numbers and render again until you get to the, uh, the 1.6 million that we had previously in a mud box. Uh, pretty much that's my approach to uh, each project. I would start with the default values and I keep increasing until I hit the number that I'm looking for. So let's render this. Obviously this time it took longer because we tessellated the object way more than we did before. Comparison. And you can see the details here appearing to start appearing in the cheek. So quick look. Alright. Uh, I'm not quite sure if the capture will show that all these little details. We can uh, zoom in a little bit. And here you go, you can see it. Going back to the output window, and we see the mesh has been subdivided to 3.2 million. That's triangle, so Mudbox was counting faces as in quads. So if we divide the 3.2 by 2, that will give us the 1.6 million almost, give and take, because each quad has two tries. And this is the closest thing we can get to Mudbox now. This map is a TIFF format, and what that means is Mentoray will have to load the entire image in memory in order to render it. There is another way to make things easier for Mentoray is uh, using another image format called MAP, M-A-P and for that we're gonna try to convert that TIFF to MAP. We're gonna use a command called IMF underscore copy and we're gonna use the flag P for pyramid and then you type the name of the file, the TIFF, followed by the name of the MAP format. So if this is my displacement map I can just drag and drop. I find it easier this way. 